It is September 8th, 2016, and welcome to this episode of Code Evolution. So I wanted to um, share with you this error that I had in when I was upgrading Angular 2 to RC6. Uh, it's definitely a, not that big of a deal, but if you are deciding to upgrade to RC6 and, and greater, you're probably going to run into some interesting problems. First of all, if you do your upgrade on NPM, it's not that big of a deal. I, you know, I've, I found it was it took me a couple iterations to get all the um, to get all the dependencies to kind of uh, you know the dependency entitlement to kind of figure itself out. But eventually, everything went okay, and there were no more warnings. But once I did that, when I tried to run things, there's some things that have changed. Um, I, you know, especially if you're using the quick start, you're going to be like, oh man, what the heck is going on? Uh, and one of the first things you'll probably see is that there's something, there's some classes inside the uh, the spec uh, that they've provided that's a bit wonky. I went ahead and commented those out, but then I still ran into this issue that basically, if you have a direct, if you have these directives like we've been doing before, like this, either you have this router directives, um, for example, that gets injected into um, this directives. Uh, property as part of the component. This is gone. The RC6 just basically said, see you later. Uh, it doesn't exist. So how do you fix this problem? Well, um, as they basically talk about here, it's asking, is does that mean that I have to remove the directives from all my components and move them into an app module? Or do I have to create a module for every single component? So basically you're saying, yeah, they go into the direct, direct declaration section of your ng, uh, ng module now. And so I did that and it fixed the problem and I'm gonna show you uh, how that all works. So we're gonna go ahead and go to WebStorm here. And you know, so right in this case, I'm using the um, Angular 2 uh, high charts directive. And so we're gonna select this and we're gonna cut it out. And then we're gonna get rid of directives because it's basically useless at this point and you saw the red line you know, was indicating an error uh, in fact you know if you I mean if I go back I could show you see if you mouse over this here you can see the same error is going on right alright so we'll get rid of that and then all you really have to do is go into the declaration sections of ng module and put it there and then in this case I need to import it so I'm gonna add import statement uh, and then we're off and running now this I just tested this. This works great. So that was it. It wasn't that big of a deal, but I can imagine people running into this and getting super frustrated. So I hope that helps. Um, that was pretty much it. I just want to give that quick update for everybody that's you know deciding that they're going to upgrade to RC6 or greater. Uh, watch out. There are some changes that are effectively breaking. Um, definitely give it a like if that helps you, and otherwise I'll see you in the next video.